Suppose a new element is discovered and it has two stable isotopes. One has a mass of 72.030U and an abundance of 36.50%. The average atomic mass of the element is 76.740U. What is the mass of the second isotope? So according to the problem, there are two isotopes. So let's call it isotope 1 and isotope 2. And then we are given the mass. So according to the problem, the mass of isotope 1 is 72.030U. The mass of isotope 2 is not given because it's the one missing in the problem. So let's just put a question mark. Then let's move on to percent abundance. So according to the problem, isotope 1 is 36.50%. For isotope 2, although it's not given in the problem, you can solve for the percent abundance of isotope 2. Remember that when we are talking about percent, the total percent is 100%. So since the abundance of isotope 1 is 36.50%, then the abundance of isotope 2 is 100% minus 36.50%. And that's equal to 63.50%. Okay? So after the percent abundance, we can solve for their abundance. So to solve for the abundance, that's just the percent abundance divided by 100. So for isotope 1, 36.50 divided by 100, that is 0 0.365. For isotope 2, 63.50 divided by 100, that's 0 0.635. Okay. Now we proceed to our formula. So to solve this problem, this is the formula we're going to use. Average mass, or average atomic mass, is equal to the sum of the abundance times the mass of the isotope. Okay, so in this problem, we have two isotopes. So to calculate for the average atomic mass, that is equal to the abundance of isotope 1 times the mass of isotope 1. plus the abundance of isotope 2 times mass of isotope 2. And then let's substitute the values. According to the problem, the average atomic mass is 76.7. 40U equals the abundance of isotope 1 is 0 0.365 times the mass of isotope 1 is 72.030U plus the abundance of isotope 2 is 0 0.635 times the mass of isotope 2 we don't know that so let's let that as let that be x okay so in order to solve this problem let's simplify this problem 76.740u so that's equal to 0 0.365 times 72.030 that's 26.29095U 
plus 0.635 times x is 0.635x. So to solve for x, what you do is you transfer this to the other side. So that becomes 76.740u minus 26.290.95u equals 0.635x. And if you want to solve for x, you need to divide both sides of the equation by 0 0.635. So the 0 0.635 cancels on the right side. So x, if you solve that in your calculator, that's 76.740 minus 26.29095 divided by 0 0.635. And x is equal to approximately 79.447u. And this is the answer to the question.